If this is COVID times, you will need two watercolor papers. I've already completed my mandala, but you should start off with your watercolor paper looking like this in a rectangle and you should have two of them. So one we are gonna do our final mandala on and it starts off as a rectangle, the other where you're gonna practice our watercolor techniques. So you will need a ruler, your watercolor brush, uh, a pen to write down what type of technique we're doing, and two cups of water. This is really important. One of them is gonna do not drink out of it, but one of them will be dirty and one of them will be clean. Super, super important to help with our cleaning of our brush. Okay. So to start, we are going to practice our four different techniques, which is wet on wet, dry on dry, dry on wet, and wet on dry. So to start, I'm gonna take my ruler and divide my lovely, beautiful piece of watercolor paper here into four different sections. going to label by what they are. So we have wet on dry, which is just a practice. We have dry on dry. The first one, wet on dry. First you're going to wet your brush and mix it on a dry paper. So my paper is dry, my brush is wet. Simple enough. So I'm going to first mix in my clean, this is gonna be my clean water and it's going to be my dirty water. So to start, you can use whatever colors you want to practice with. So you wanna make sure that right off the bat, you're rinsing it really, really well. Um, and I'm gonna go in my dirty, just get a little bit more water, mix, mix, mix. Go. And if you need to check it, you can always kind of put it on the side here or use your paper towel or even on the cardboard if you want. But I'm just gonna start by doing a couple different designs to see how that looks. And with wet and dry, you get quite a bit of control. So because my brush is dirty, I'm gonna mix it in my dirty water and then go to my clean water and try it again with a different color. You're welcome to try mixing colors, but with watercolor, we're just going for some really, really light, almost like a wash. If you want colors to be darker and bolder than this, then we would use our acrylics. But for now, we're just practicing are different types of brush strokes and we do light colors as a wash. So I did dirty and then clean. Get my brush really, really wet with water and then pigment. And I'm just practicing different shapes and designs. Now for dry on dry, it's a little tricky because we still need to release some of that pigment from our different colors. So I'm going to almost like dry off my brush with the pigment on it first so that my brush is barely, barely wet. And this one, my brush is dry, my paper is dry. Just trying different patterns and techniques. Just rinse in the dirty, back to the clean. You're gonna fill this up with a bunch of different tests. Next we have dry on wet. So we have a dry brush on wet paper. And this is used for really, really soft lines and shapes, whereas dry on dry is more detailed. So this is more just shapes and backgrounds and things like that. So to start, I'm gonna get my paper wet and I'm literally just brushing water onto the paper so that it starts to absorb. 
not too, 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 too wet so that it gets soggy. Now I'm gonna dry my brush. Of course, you may need to wet it a little bit to lift up some of the pigment. But once that pigment is mixed in, you wanna dry your brush and then go back over just to get a nice type of a wash so that it kind of starts to bleed into your different colors. And this is really good for doing a lot of backgrounds. It's a really, really light brush. My paper is wet. If you have a spray bottle, you can even spray it a little bit too, and that kind of helps add a different type of an effect. If you have salt, you can put salt on there too, or sand, and that'll start to absorb it. There's a little bunch of different watercolor techniques. Rinse out in the dirty, and then rinse in the clean. And my final technique is wet on wet. So I have a wet brush, wet paper, and this is really good for gradients, meaning that my color is changing or um, washes, so it's to cover whole backgrounds. So if I wanted to do a gradient, I would be changing the colors as I go along. So I'm gonna start with a really, really wet brush. And you wanna be careful not to move your paper because that will also start to move your colors around. So you wanna wait till it dries. So I'm gonna rinse my brush off again the dirty and then the clean. And I'm gonna do a gradient of warm colors. Rinse it off. Paper is wet. Brush is wet. So I can start to blend and pull these colors up and together. But we are just practicing right now. We're just playing around. If your colors start to bleed, it's good to have a paper towel around or a towel to lift them up. Even if you make a mistake, you can use your towel to lift up that color too. I find that very helpful. So same thing, you can be practicing with whatever colors you want. This is just for me to be practicing and you to get used to those different colors and what they look like together and practice the different techniques.